Subway, which was established in the middle of the 1960s by two young business people, has grown into a worldwide fast food juggernaut, with thousands of restaurants in almost every region of the globe. Dive in as we look at the intriguing history of the Subway franchise, starting with its modest origins and continuing through its quick expansion. How an idea comes into being. Fred DeLuca, a high school graduate who was just 17 years old at the time, went into partnership with Dr. Peter Buck, a nuclear physicist, in August of 1965 in order to establish a sandwich business in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Even though DeLuca, the son of a diligent Italian family, had aspirations of entering medical school, this desire seemed to be a distant possibility due to low financial resources. Dr. Buck, who eventually became DeLuca's financial sponsor, proposed the idea of operating a sub shop as a means of assisting DeLuca in earning money for his schooling. In the beginning, they decided to call the business endeavor Pete's Super Submarines, and they made the first restaurant opening possible with a loan of $1,000 from Dr. Buck. Challenges and Innovations in the Beginning because the original restaurant was situated in a less than ideal location, the proprietors had to exert a great lot of effort to attract guests. When the franchisees first started out, they encountered many obstacles such as limited finance, intense competition, and a steep learning curve in the food service sector. On the other hand, the utilization of a toaster to crisp up the bread for their sandwiches was one of the most noteworthy inventions that contributed to their success in standing out from the competition. It didn't take long for the warm and crispy bread to become a signature feature of Subway's products, which helped differentiate them from more conventional cold sandwich restaurants. The Transformation of Subway It was in 1968 that DeLuca and Buck decided to rebrand their expanding company as Subway to represent the fact that they were primarily concerned with submarine sandwiches. The name was not only memorable, but it also conjured up the thought of moving swiftly from one location to another, which was a connection that was in line with the idea of fast food. Because of this economical model, they were able to swiftly grow their operations and make the subway experience accessible to a larger audience. In 1974, the first Subway restaurant was established in Wallingford, Connecticut, which marked the beginning of an empire. Aspiring business owners were given the option to own and run their own Subway restaurants via the franchise system. These shops would adhere to the established formula, producing bread using Subway's signature ingredients and procedures, and would follow the established formula. By using this method, Subway was able to become one of the franchises in the United States that saw the most rapid expansion. The evolution of menus and growing concern for health. Subway capitalized on the growing health awareness in the United States through the 1980s and 1990s by promoting itself as a healthier alternative to traditional fast food restaurants via the use of marketing strategies. They launched a promotion called 7 Under 6, which highlighted a variety of subs that had less than 6 grams of fat. In addition, the Subway Diet, which was popularized by Jared Fogel in the late 1990s, generated a large amount of attention to the health-conscious products and services offered by the business. Jared said that he had successfully shed a significant amount of weight by consuming Subway sandwiches. So, the fact that Subway places such an emphasis on healthy selections has helped the company grow its client base by appealing to those who are searching for a more nutritional dining option without compromising on flavor, providing clients with fresh ingredients, a selection of veggies, and the ability to customize their subs allows them to personalize their orders to their specific nutritional requirements. Exposure to the World during the latter part of the 1980s, Subway had successfully built a solid presence in the United States. In the end, it was only a matter of time until the firm decided to focus on expanding its operations to other countries. This event marked the beginning of a worldwide trip that would carry the franchise to practically every corner of the globe. In 1984, Subway established its first international outlet in Bahrain, and this event marked the beginning of another global voyage. The worldwide growth of Subway was characterized by periods of both success and adaptation. The business realized that it needed to modify its menu in order to accommodate the cuisine and dietary preferences of the local population. 
Subway, for instance, has developed a variety of vegetarian alternatives in India in order to appeal to the country's largely vegetarian population. Additionally, the corporation had difficulties in some nations where the preferences of consumers and their eating habits were notably different from those in the United States. The sushi sandwich was first presented by Subway in Japan, a country where raw fish is common food. Thus, Subway's ability to modify and localize its menu significantly contributed to the company's success in gaining popularity in a variety of foreign regions. Conflicts and Difficulties to Overcome The path that Subway has taken over the years has not been without difficulties and debates. Because of the revelation that its long-standing spokesman, Jared Fogel, has been accused of child pornography and sex offenses and ultimately convicted of those charges in 2015, the corporation was confronted with a severe problem in terms of its public relations communications. Increased competitiveness was another obstacle that needed to be overcome. As a result of the proliferation of fast casual eating franchises such as Chipotle and Panera Bread, customers now have access to additional choices in addition to the conventional fast food selections. These rivals emphasized personalization, high quality ingredients, and a contemporary appearance, all of which encroached onto Subway's domain. Furthermore, Subway faced a problem as a result of changes in customer tastes, which included a trend towards foods that were obtained locally and organic. The company needed to devise strategies that would allow it to adjust to these ever-changing trends without compromising its fundamental principles of speed and cost. Throughout the years, there has also been many legal challenges that have arisen, such as disagreements between franchisees and franchisors, charges of deceptive advertising, and problems with franchise fees. The difficulty of managing a broad network of franchises while complying with a variety of standards and expectations was brought into sharper focus by these issues. Despite these obstacles, Subway continues to develop and adapt to new circumstances. For example, in an attempt to stay up with the shifting tastes and expectations of customers, they added new products to the menu such as flatbreads and a sub called rotisserie style chicken. The Digital Transformation Subway was eager to adopt technology in order to improve the overall customer experience and simplify operations as the digital age brought up new possibilities and problems for the fast food business. Customers were able to personalize their purchases and place them on their mobile devices thanks to the company's introduction of online ordering. Consequently, not only did this make the ordering procedure more straightforward, but it also enabled Subway to collect information on the tastes and routines of its customers. In addition, a redesigned customer loyalty program known as Subway My Way Rewards was established. This program provided consumers with individualized offerings and prizes that were determined by their previous purchases. The goal of this initiative was to increase the number of customers who continued to use Subway locations and to encourage more regular visits. But that's not all! The restaurant operations were also impacted by the digital revolution that took place recently. A number of Subway restaurants have introduced computerized touchscreen kiosks for the purpose of placing orders. Initiatives Regarding Sustainability Because Subway understood the significance of sustainability and environmental responsibility, the company initiated a number of initiatives with the goal of reducing its ecological impact. As part of their efforts to improve the welfare of animals, they made the announcement in 2007 that they would only purchase eggs that were not kept in cages. In addition to this, they started purchasing part of their meat from vendors that not only grew their animals without the use of antibiotics. Also, Subway made an attempt to reduce the amount of garbage produced in its restaurants and to encourage recycling. In some sites, they utilized environmentally responsible construction techniques and equipment that was more energy efficient. Subway Today To the best of our knowledge, as of the cutoff date in December 2023, Subway remained a significant participant in the fast food sector, with thousands of restaurants across more than 100 nations. Also, new menu items and marketing initiatives were introduced by the corporation as part of its ongoing efforts to innovate and adapt to the ever-changing tastes of customers. So, now that you know the history of Subway, will you give it a try? Let us know in the comments! But that's all for today, see ya!